I told you, Harley. If you're giving it out, heave a chunk my way, eh? What goes around comes around, as this supervillain certainly knows. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of Captain Boomerang. George Harkness, aka Captain Boomerang, expert thief and inventor. As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We've chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1960s Flash number 117, which was expanded upon in 1990s Suicide Squad number 44 and 2004's to 2005's Identity Crisis numbers 4 to 6. This villain from Down Under can get a lot done with various types of boomerangs. He's given the Flash a run for his money for decades, but just how did he come to be? If I don't visualize a mortgage payment soon, the wife will have me bagging groceries for a living. She's always been an ice queen, that one. Captain Boomerang, you old son of a wallaby. The answer goes back to the 1960s in the DC Universe, when a toy tycoon named W.W. Wiggins wanted to make the boomerang into the next big children's toy fad. To promote the product, he decided to find an expert to show people just what could be done with the boomerang. As luck would have it, petty criminal George Digger Harkness, an Australian newly arrived in America, had just been thinking about incorporating boomerangs into his crooked activities. Digger was given the job with the toy company, who also supplied him with a snazzy new set of threads and named him Captain Boomerang. What goes around comes around. Digger was a hit with the public as the Boomerang promoter, but he really cleaned up moonlighting as a boomerang throwing criminal. When the Flash caught up with him, Digger even had a story to throw him off his track. He claimed that someone else was impersonating him to commit these crimes and was hurting his good name with their activities. He even hired some other crooks to pretend to be his lovable mother and father, who convinced Flash of Digger's innocence. Later, Boomerang was able to knock the Flash unconscious. The villain had a stash of special trick boomerangs, including a gigantic one, which he then tied the Flash to. Using a powerful launching device, he hurled the Flash into the atmosphere. Classic. If that didn't kill the Scarlet Speedster, the Boomerang's subsequent plunge into the ocean would. Fortunately, Flash was able to generate sufficient friction to break the ropes. Escaping, he then made quick work of Captain Boomerang. However, the villain came back time and time again to bedevil the Flash and eventually became part of the Suicide Squad. In 1990, Captain Boomerang's origins were retooled and updated. In a trip back to Australia to attend his mother's funeral, we met the rest of his family. Readers learned that Digger had always been bullied by his father, who strongly favored his brother. Boomerang's mother was the only family member who had cared for him. Digger became a small-time hood before he was out of his teens. When he got into trouble, his mother arranged for him to come to America to work for an old friend of theirs, W.W. W. Wiggins. In this retelling, Wiggins was no tycoon, just a businessman trying to make the boomerang into a profitable venture. Digger was hired to promote the boomerangs at carnivals, and dressed in his now familiar costume, he ran into the flash as soon as he turned to crime. Good eye, mate. Captain Boomerang here. Yeah? Seems that Mirror Master wasn't up to the task. Wiggins actually didn't do all of this out of the kindness of his own heart, though. It turned out that he was Digger's real father. In 2004, it was revealed that Digger himself was also a father. He got in touch with his now grown-up son, Owen Mercer, who had been told that his mother was another Flash foe, the Golden Glider. Digger taught Owen how to use a boomerang, and discovered that Owen also possessed super speed, which he inherited from his real mother, a 30th century speedster named Melanie Thawne. When Digger died soon after, Owen became the second Captain Boomerang. Get down! The new 52 reboot eventually brought back Digger Harkness as everyone's favorite boomerang-based bad guy. It's a short list. Captain Boomerang has had a long and very visible career in the DC Universe. A major member of Flash's rogues gallery, he has also been a steady presence in various incarnations of the Suicide Squad. It's like a bloody recurring nightmare. All of this is not bad for someone who started out shilling for children's toys. Are you a fan of the rogue called Captain Boomerang? For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. <laughs> now why would I want to do that?